The sun shining. It was raining yesterday. But it all happens out there. I'm actually going to go out today. I'm going to go for a movie. <laughs> I sat here all day yesterday. Well, like television snow, nailed it. With the comment, the B, the B, the original social network. I like that. Kaleidoplex. Sorry, keeping up with all these. Seems to think he or she is having a dilemma because of doing so many things, being good at doing so many things, and being accused by others of flitting around. Honey, that's the story of my life. You know what it is with those people? They're jealous. They only do one thing. They devote their life to one or two things. They see you out painting, doing a sculpture. You said you're just starting to write a novel. They probably can't stand it, of course. They're not going to like it. The giveaway um, question on your, uh, your comment was the last sentence. For whom? Wrong for whom? What's wrong in their, in their life? They have narrow lives. It's not wrong for you, obviously, because you're productive and you're doing a lot of things. I have done so many things, and I can't tell you the number of times I've been accused of being a dilettante. I couldn't care less. I mean, well, they've got a problem. It's not my problem. And then you say you're, uh, you're actually stimulated by, by being able to go back and forth and do these things. There, I, it really doesn't work for me to go back and forth. It took me years, though, to figure this out. Uh, because I like to go back. Well, so I'm, I'm making pottery plates. And I'm playing uh, the Bach 48 Preludes and Fugues. And I'm engaging in two or three other little projects on the side. Well, when I'm working on the plates, I'm thinking I should be practicing the Preludes and Fugues. When I'm practicing the Preludes and Fugues, I'm thinking I really wish I were working on those plates and on and on and on. So it didn't work for me trying to do them at once. And I started then just committing to one thing. Only doing one thing at a time. Not just doing one thing. So it worked much better for me because I was able then to put everything I had into the one thing. This quilt is all that exists for me now. I'm not thinking about how, well, <laughs> I am thinking about a couple of other things I should be doing, but they're not artistic things there. They're life survival things. So I'd just stop worrying about listening to those people. They're, they're not, uh, they're not, uh, able to deal with you. So, they can think what they want. Start your novel. Keep us posted. Uh, Provokiev. Great name. You know, I read your name two or three times before I stopped spelling it Prokofiev. <laughs> A little slow there. Anyway, you ask, uh, if I played any other instruments. Yes, uh, when I was uh, a kid I played cello. 
when I was in college I started studying flute. I never became proficient on those instruments though. Uh, what I did play and, and actually publicly perform on was a member of a Gamelan Sekarjaya, a Gamelan group. And uh, that was a wonderful musical experience for me because it was such a totally different approach to playing music. You're no longer the only one of your kind. You're part of a group and you're playing your part. Your part doesn't have any meaning without the rest of the group. Having studied Western music all my life, uh, this was uh, a very interesting phenomenon to go through. And our group actually was invited to go to Bali and play. <laughs> thought that was a little interesting idea. A group of San Francisco Bay Area people with their little gamelan group going and playing Balinese music for the Balinese. Called Hutzpah. But it worked, it was fun. And uh, that group still exists. But uh, I, as you know, I'm not a group person, so I did study Gander. Uh, for quite a while. I made a couple of trips to Bali and had a teacher there and stayed for a while and worked. That was wonderful. And then I play all kinds of just make-up instruments. I may be leaving something out, but that's all I can think of right now. Uh, Marie wants to know is there a medium that I haven't done <laughs> that I would like to explore? Well, bear in mind, I'm 80 and I'm kind of starting to feel 80, so I don't really feel like there's some unknown thing that I want to start doing now. I might like to resume painting or resume one of the art forms. Pottery was fun. Mask making was fun. Um, I don't plan much. I try to be sensitive to what my creative energy wants to do and go with that, whatever. I certainly try not to be influenced by people telling me what I ought to be doing. 